Times by Joseph Scaliger, Book 1, Chapter 5 of the Smaller Uniform Greek Year. With certain ancients, such as Macrobius and Solanus, the Greek year produced was purely lunar. Not only in this heresy do we include the highly educated man Theodorus of Gaza, but the most ancient writer Herodotus applies his own opinions to his testimony. Indeed, not rashly from his influence does his opinion remain. Unless a person is vindicated by both clarity and linguistics, he can clearly make mistakes regarding this. These are therefore demonstrations of the Greek lunar month, alternating full and hollow. These words were produced by Herodotus. Eshar have domicante etie urian tizuas anthropo plortithimi urian intes eniate have domicanta perihonte himeres di incosias ke pentakis helias ke dismi res envolimu minos mi yenomenu. We see whether it is true of the great man's opinion and divide 25,200 days into 70 years. They offer the mode of one year being 360 days, therefore incorrectly defining it as the lunar year. Its months are all full. In fact, all 12 months have trichanthomeres, the year produced by Herodotus as he himself wants, alternating full and hollow. But with him would be the opinion of Gaza. Marvelous. Not content to be human, one witness contradicts what Herodotus has produced. If not, and from Aristotle's other book, Zuan Historias, great harm does come to his examination. He writes to Aristotle the result, which the place itself came from Gaza. Inia ton kinon, tictuse pemte meros iniaf tu tut esten himeres hevdomacanta ke dio. And in the very same book of Aristotle, Kien de he men leconiki hecton meros tu iniaf tu tuton de esten himeres exiconta. Behold, five times seventy two days is the solid Greek year. It has just as many days. How many were ordained by Herodotus? Exactly 360. Likewise also the riddle of Cleobulus' song that Gaza himself expresses the acknowledgement. It goes like this. Eso peter pedes de diodeco ton de hecasto pedes triencanta diandike idos exuse. Amen lefke isian idian. E de afte meliane Athiniote de du usie, apotheniathulisen, hapase. An enigma indeed, but just the same as from there even a child can guess, the Greek year has months of trichanthomeris each. But Pliny clarifies, and without any riddle. Noli inquiet abetro plures statuas dictas, quan Dimitrio Falerio Athenis, sequidem. Tricente sexagente statuere, quas mox laceriant, non dem anno hinc numerum dirum excedente, whose place Pliny gives in his interpretation of Vero, who in Nonium writes, All the statues of Dimitri Phalerum have outlived their usefulness. How much has this enlightened us on the year as absolute? So the Greek mode of year has 360 days. It is therefore not lunar. Laertes writes about Solon. Ixiose te tus Athenios tas himeres kata selenian egian. Therefore, in the times of Solon, the Greek year was not yet lunar. Diodorus Siculus, Book 8, 331. Ephesen is okidi mito iku tinos herio kenie ti numerie pere mesa nictas esiantas. And below, F. C. Pros to Tis Selenian Fus Herio How is it possible for it to be Numenia and in the middle of the night as the moon shines? Therefore, the months cannot be lunar. Otherwise, if it was the lunar year, how could it be composed? As Plutarch writes, certainly the lunar eclipse which precedes the destruction of Persia by Gagamela coincides with the Athenians' night of mystery. This is is ekada voidrominus. For if the full moon is celebrated on the 20th of Boidromion, 
sensibly the sixth, that is, Hecte tu histomenu, had been the new moon. Therefore, the moon was not of Biodromian. Likewise, Plutarch writes in Camillus, the victory of Athens over Naxum, led by Chabris, touches upon Viodromnios pente finiotos en pansilenio. Therefore, the twelfth of Boidromion had been the new moon. Thucydides said the solar eclipse happened on Numenia cata selenian. Therefore, it certainly had been Neomenia me cata selenian. In Book 12, Diodorus Siculus writes that the astronomer Menton establishes the first new moon of his Ennea decaeteride on Scyrophorionos triscedecati. It is clear that the new moon of the Scyrophorion was not based on the moon. Therefore, it is not the year described by the Greek lunar month, which was arranged in Gaza, and is not 354 days, like the true lunar year, but bound to 360, as we now agree. So the year is smaller than the solar type by five full days and a quarter, and is larger than the lunar by nearly five and a third days. Yet certain apocal times are bound, and not rashly, to its previous traditional path, as it is argued that its months were almost always the summer months, like Hecatombian, Metagition, Biodromian, also those always in the spring, Muichion, Thargalion, and Scyrophorion. The same consensus applies to the other. From Aristotle and Theophratus, we learn certain months of his have yearly attributes that repeat the Tropas Theranus, Hecatomian, Himerianus, Posidian. That would not be done unless aided by a unique inner calorie and addition at certain annual periods. In this business, this is what we call a period like that, born from the sun and moon and which, so to say, each composes a page. So in the Calypic period, the sun was considered equal with the moon, or sensibly it is that period in which nothing remains of the fractions produced. That is the reason for the leap year. For then nothing remains of the quarter days, because the four-year in a calorie day in the Julian period is due to the sun, which in particular, and whatever kind the Greek period was, and how many years, is worth knowing. Indeed, that if these most outstanding things in the doctrine are true, we wish to understand. And surely, if that was the period, its observance ended in those Greek years. Indeed, as it began, it was necessary to institute another, or institute a tetraeteride, like the Olympiad, or not. The Olympiad is based on a four-year cycle. If at no time had apocatastasis occurred, I cannot see, particularly, that they were not Greek solar years. We do not read it was arranged into a four-year cycle, unless we postulate the rationale of periodic time. But we consider the beginnings and the start of the Olympiad. This end is easy to achieve. At first it had a true new moon, and in its fashion, fifteen days later, it became full, and the Olympic Games concluded. Pindar teaches us in the Olympian, Idiar Afto. Petremen vomen agiathenton, dihomenes olen chrysamentos esperasas of thalamon ante flexe mine, the old song, epe enti panseleno olympicus egon agiate, keti kaiti hecate decate tis selenes agiate crisis, and in the same work, ende hepron efflexon evdopidos selenas. Eraton Fus. He clearly declares the start to the first Olympiad month falls on the true new moon, and the remaining months, which were all triconthomeras, as we have now demonstrated, only the first was purely lunar. It is not possible for the remaining moons. It is unambiguous, as with all full moons. The moon truly alternates full and hollow. Therefore, investigating the reasons and methods, in which 48 revolving months, which were all full, the beginning of the 49th falls on the new moon. As this is clearly understood, so we propose the familiar example of our computers, as the common people call them. This age, the new moon occurred on the 19th of July in the Julian year, in the sixth year of the lunar cycle. The year truly is the same as cycle 10, 
The new moon fell on the 5th of July. After four years, it falls exactly as its previous new moon. And because the Greek year consisted of just 360 days, in four years, there are only 1,440 days. Thus, beginning the first year from the new moon, which fell on the 19th of July, the first weekday in the solar cycle. For example, 25, when the Sunday letter is D. Of course, the fifth year starts from the 28th of June, the sixth weekday, solar cycle 1, with the Sunday letter being F. For 1,440 days, divided by 7, leaves weekday 5, which is the first weekday in the first year's composition being the sixth weekday. The characteristics of the fifth year, as we say, is on the 28th of June. From that day to the 5th of July, there is an interval of seven days to the new moon, which in addition to the 1,440 days, and so the Greek tetraetride or Olympiad, will be 1,447 days. What do these idle seven days do? Can it be the inner calorie? Is the tetraetride's way out? By no means. But the creator of the Greek tetraetride added two days to the end of each year. And in four years, the months had eight extra ones, and the tetraetride is united in agreement with the moon. Yet these extra days in the Attic tetraetride were not idle. Attica really had ten tribes, of which were called Philae, of who Oi Pentecosiae annually prepare, thus fifty from each tribe. Separately, however, a fifth of those five hundred ran the circuit per day, and the higher manners could be deferred. This was so, so that a single fifty-year revolution, thirty-six days are demanded. These days speak of the Pretenniae, and their tribes, or Philis. Harpocrates, Este de erythmos himeran hi pretenian itie, triconta hex, e triconta pente, que hecasi file pretenie. Di ilicete de pere tutan erestadeles en ti Athenian politite. It is true they also said thirty five days when talking about pretenian, as explained below. But how many philae were there? As often, thirty six governed. The ancient and well educated grammarian Ammonius wrote Pretenian de philicos, o chronos di ruto yar par Athenios en eniotois is deca prianate. Osie ke file is san ke epritanian ecasti file kata enioton apacon ke tus bisthois. Ke ta eniocate ke tas prianatai kata menos etelun. It was, however, ten, and therefore they ruled ten times thirty six days which is the kind of year used in the land of Attica, and to such an extent all Greece. Indeed, those two days surpassed in the year are said to be rejected hypervenuse, or hypervaluse himere. It is also when the elections of the magistrates take place. Therefore, they name these two days arche resie or anarche himere because clearly for those two days Attica was without a legitimate magistrate. But we seem to forget. So two days were gathered from the end of the year, at which the end of the Tetraetoride there were eight, and yet we still say the Attican year is in excess of the lunar by at least seven days. Therefore, we are in fact not one day in abundance of the year ahead of the moon, but the moon is ahead of the year. The remedy to these interventions are answered tenexerenes, which indeed they did not append those two days there. Those days are called committitalis, but in another month. The next day, that exemption is called exeresimos himere, Cicero and Vero, es constitual siculorum ceterumque grecorum quod sus deis mense Que congere volent cum sones nuneque, rational bus non numcum se quid discrepet, exament unum eliemque diem, ot summen, by duum ex mense, 
quos ille exeremus dies nominente. Aitem non numqua une de longio rem mensen sacient ut by duo. This Marcus Tullius finally had his place. If exaerius is in the same month, who has two days added? In fact, the month has the same anarche numere, and the same exerius. Then the last month of the fourth year in all tetaeterides is the only one with 31 days, while in the other years the same month has 32. But because of exaerius, there is only 31. Still, in the Attican year, another month's exaerius coincides with another anarche nimere, and will be explained later. We see Cicero nevertheless wanted to rival the ultimate month in the Syracuse tetaeteride. Caetin exaerisin caetas anarchos himeras. The final month removes those hypervaluse nimere, so that the foundation is from the writings of Macrobius Gulglippus, who was the sacred Athenian writer. This exemption coincides with the fourth year of the tetaeteride and is only 359 days, in addition to the Anarche Numere. And so in the Exaerisimino year, one tribe rules for 35 days. It is clear from what Harpocrates says, Pritanian is only 36 or 35 days. This was just done, as the fourth year also exacted a new moon which falls precisely on the new moon of the fifth month in the first year. That requires observation in the Elis Tetaeteride, as a plethora of all Greeks and Latins call it the Olympiad. What is the Greek Tetaeteride? It is the interval of four Greek years that intersects two lunar syzygies. For only the first month and the following, Proteistamenu, had proper lunar new months, and the remaining wander because of the moon, whose prior lunar epoch is ahead by half a day, and several minutes beyond that. Then consider the variations of the new moon in the full months. From the first gathered Greek syzygy, it is 29 days, 12 hours, and 30 minutes. The true lunar year is 354 days, and four distinguished years of 1,417 days, and with the lunar embolism, 1,447 days. Therefore, deducting 29 days, 12 hours, and 30 minutes from the full moon, which is about 30 days, leaves zero days, 11 hours, and 30 minutes. Moreover, the first year exceeded the next by two days through anarchos or hypervalios numeras. It is often said the first 12 month year had ended with a new moon on the 26th day, which having the appendant tas hypervalios dio after the first month and the second year, two and a half days are added, in which the month's new moon anticipates the previous new moon. Therefore, the first month of the second year, hypervalios, precedes the next keamesos by about one day, and the previous new moon anticipates the next, having the new moon three days sooner than the twelve months of the previous year. And so the next twelve draw out two from the third and three more from the fourth, where we show the name on the table, which has the day of the month for the new moon, you can follow our work on the side. Since there are 1,417, there are 48 synods that necessarily last for 30 days. Again, because the Greek year is larger than the lunar year by 8 days, it is necessary for the first year to have 13 new moons. For contained in the 12 months, there are more than 354 days, which, alternating full and hollow, 8 days are left over, so that there should be a new moon on the first day. However, since the days were distributed through all of the months, all of the second have two new moons, in itself, of course, the Numenia and the Tricata, which if that other is true, Enikenia, as it can be called and seen in the table, from which it is evident that the new moon begins and Protihestamenu in the first year, and Odia Thinatos second, 
en pemte mesuntos, third, en evdomi histamenu, fourth, and again in prote histamenu in the fifth, as from the beginning. These are the methods of the Greek tetaeteride of which Phocensibus Pythias called the Ellis Olympiad. That is indeed explained by no ancients, for that Olympiad was constituted purely from the moon. Perhaps it is a worthwhile indulgence with censorinus from the day of the last quarter of the excreted year, which the Romans called the leap year, and established in writing a quasi-true Olympiad in which two lunar trieterides agree with the solar, which is perspicuously false. For one Olympiad never agrees with the solar motion, but rather it is the junction of two that constitutes the octaeteride, which is now discussed. Mm -hmm.